Christopher Yingling is the sober living manager at the ABC Recovery Center. The man who once smuggled drugs and alcohol into prison is now paid to keep them out of the recovery center that he works for. Yingling vividly remembers the first day he stepped foot in the ABC Recovery Center. On October 12, 2009, he checked in as a parolee to the in-custody drug treatment program. What brought me there is, uh, you, you know, I, I started getting locked up when I was uh, 12 years old in, in 85. And uh, in 1987, I went to Youth Authority. Uh, when I was 17, I was tried in a, as an adult and I was sent to state prison. Um, along the way, you know, I picked up some bad habits as far as um, drugs go. From the age of 12 to 28, Yingling was free for 21 months. He started snorting speed at 13 and was on cocaine at 17, which is when he started a string of armed robberies. Back then, he didn't see drugs as the problem. I didn't accept it. I, uh, I rejected all those ideas and I wouldn't, uh, I, I had asked for help, but I was never willing to take the suggestions that people gave me. And, uh, you know, finally, I, I just reached a point where, where um, I was willing to do what people suggested. Tired of being locked up for more than half of his life, he decided to make a change that seems obvious now, but took years of destructive living to finally register. I have a girlfriend. She suggested to me that, why don't you try this? Follow the rules. You know, and, and uh, to me, it was like the deepest thought that I've ever heard in my life, you know, and it like never occurred to me, you know, and, uh, and uh, I said, huh, you know, and, and so that's what I did. And the biggest lesson he learned was to leave his old associates behind. You don't hang out with people that get high if you don't want to be high. It doesn't matter if they're, they were your best friends in the past, you know, you still love them, but you don't associate with them. Now he passes on the lessons that he's learned to others who see him as a positive example. Doing this job, I give to others. And I never did that. You know, I was always selfish and self-centered and I caused a lot of uh, damage to other people. And uh, doing this job, I mean, the other day, I'm not gonna lie, I had to tell my boss, I need a minute. And I had to go outside and I had to cry. You know, because I was just overwhelmed with the difference between my old life and my life now. You know, there's, there's people now like that right from prison to here just because they heard that, that I'm here and that I'm clean. And they're like, if he can do it, then I can too. You know, and that's pretty amazing to me.